Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we're going to be talking about solar panels. This is going to be the Optimate 20 watt solar panel. We'll take a look at its specs, how to install them, and if this will work for your camping adventures. Quick overview on the solar panel. This is a 20 watt polycrystalline solar panel. So this is good if you want an affordable way to keep your batteries charged or prevent them from dying while you're out on your adventures. There's some pros and cons to this though. With it being polycrystalline, it's not as efficient for the space as a monocrystalline panel. But on the other hand, you can still get like a bigger panel to make up for it. Optimate also has different panel size options. This is gonna be the good mid-range size though. If you get this here at eTrailer, you can get the Optimate Duo Kit, which has the solar panel as well as the solar charge controller. This is gonna be very important because you need a solar controller with a panel. You can also find them separately if needed or if you're just adding on to your current system. Other things included are gonna be the way to attach this to your batteries. You can either use the clamps or you can use the slightly more permanent solution where you install them on your posts. For mounting this, this is technically a permanent mount solar panel. You already have holes on the corners for where you can screw this into your trailer, your camper, your campsite. There's some other things I recommend though as add-ons because I don't like permanently installing my panels. I like some versatility and movement so I can follow the sun. So let's take a look at that. One option are these four suction cups that Optimate offers. So instead of using the holes for your bolts, you just use the holes for these suction cups. They fit through, they tighten down, and they attach to your flat surface. So this panel is gonna be 14 and a quarter inches wide and it's going to be 18 inches long. So this includes the brackets in the corners. Find a flat surface, push on the suction cups and then they adhere to your surface. This style is nice because then you have a strong sturdy surface without having to drill any holes into your camper. Now this is not designed to be used on a moving vehicle, so please remember to take it off before you drive away. Now for other options, I also like to use the Sea Sucker vacuum mount. This one I can adhere to literally any surface and that way I can angle the solar mount to face the sun at whatever angles it's at. Now all these options are sold separately though. So if you want these suction cups, you can take a look at the portable version of this kit. You can also get to this sea sucker vacuum cup separately. And if you just wanna use the more permanent mounts, you are gonna have to bring your own screws and tools to the table. After figuring out how to set up your panel, how do you set it up to your battery? So you have two options here. You have some alligator clamps for those quick connections or you have ring terminals with a fuse. These connect to the positive and the negative. Now they're kind of small clamps, so I would only use this for quick situations. I like the ring terminals because then you just set it up once and you don't have to worry about it again. You can just leave the other plug free. So you start with the positive side. After the positive, you then connect your negative. This then leaves a convenient quick plug. So you can leave the dust cap on there and just leave the plug inside. And whenever you need to connect, you just take the dust cap off and you don't need to make those connections again. You have your solar charge controller. So follow the arrows, see where the sun is. That's the in, meaning solar panel side. And then you have the out. So the outside is what you connect to your battery. We have the same SAE plugs, so line them up and connect. And now you're ready to connect it to your solar panel. You'll be able to see that it's working when you see there's lights light up. So they have different meanings. So there's gonna be one, two, three, four, and five different bulbs. So the first one, or one, is gonna show if it's charging. How fast it's charging will be determined or seen by how fast it blinks. So if it's a sunny day, you'll see this blink fast. 
two, three, four, and five will show how much voltage you have in your battery. The fifth one is actually for your lithium, your LFP batteries, specifically LFP for the lithium ones. And usually for most of your standard batteries, you'll go up to four. So if you go to number two, that's when this goes into save mode. If you go up to three, that's gonna be your charge or your optimize mode. And then when you go up to four, that's gonna be your maintain mode because you got to 100%. So this will automatically switch between pulsing or continuous current so you can optimize your battery. So this way with your solar panel connected, you can see how important it is to have full light, but it also automatically switches. So if you have full sunlight, you have a continuous charge. When it gets a little overcast, it switches to a pulse charge. So either way, you're either saving, charging, or maintaining your 12 volt batteries. So if you're into solar panels, then you know that a 20 watt smaller solar panel like this isn't a heavy duty setup, but you're not charging your refrigerator or powering your coffee maker. You're maintaining and charging your batteries. And because of that, you don't need a heavy duty setup. This has everything included, the panel, the solar controller, and the connections. All you really need to think about is how you're gonna mount it to your campsite, your camper, your vehicle to get the best sunlight. And that was a look at the Optimate Solar Duo 20 watt solar panel with the controller right here at eTrailer. My name is Evangeline and I hope you enjoyed the journey.